This RTR rear spoiler is the same spoiler that comes from the factory on the RTR Mustang. It's similar to a ducktail style spoiler, so it's going to be a good option for those of you out there that are looking either for a little bit of that unique RTR styling, or for those of you out there that are looking for a flush mounted spoiler that's more in the middle of the pack when it comes to being aggressive. The MMD V-Series and the CDC Outlaw are similar spoilers, but they're a little too extreme for some. So if you're looking for something a little less than those, but more than the factory spoiler or some of those toned down options, the RTR here may be for you. This spoiler reuses the holes that are left by the factory fastback spoiler, so there'll be no drilling involved or holes to fill if you have a fastback with a spoiler. The install for this spoiler is easy, even if you're looking at having a drill. Gonna call it a one out of three wrenches in the difficulty meter, you can expect to spend an hour on the install. The first thing that I wanted to talk about here is the materials. This spoiler is made from ABS, which is different than what we're typically used to seeing from the RTR rear spoiler. In the past, the RTR rear spoiler has been aluminum with a powder coated finish. The new version here is made from ABS plastic with a matte black finish, and that actually gives it more consistent finish with absolutely no issues. This spoiler was designed as a direct replacement for Mustangs that came with the factory spoiler. It'll reuse the holes that are left by the stock spoiler, but in the case of the S550s without the stock spoiler or the convertible models, you will need to drill two holes in the deck lid to install this. The holes in the factory deck lid of the convertible models for the factory spoiler are different and they're not gonna line up with this spoiler. As far as styling goes, this spoiler sits right on top of the deck lid and it extends upwards. You can see that it comes down and covers the deck lid some, and it extends over the sides to cover the edges of the car. The spoiler is finished, it's not raw looking at all, but if you wanted to, you could always paint this very easily, but most just leave it matte black. And this does install with two nuts and some double sided tape. When it comes to price, you can expect to pay about $400 for this spoiler. That's pretty similar to what you'd be paying for any other unpainted spoiler. There are a few spoilers that cost less, but they're a little more tame styling wise. Roush offers a spoiler for less as well, and so does RK Sport and Speedform. The install for this spoiler is easy, even if you are looking at having a drill. I'm gonna call it a one out of three wrenches in the difficulty meter. You can expect to spend an hour on the install. If you have a factory spoiler, the most difficult part would be removing the adhesive on the deck lid from the factory spoiler. You need a ratchet and 10 millimeter socket, and a drill and drill bits if you're looking at having a drill. There are two rubber grommets that will need to be removed on the bottom of the deck lid. If you need a drill, you need to use the drilling template and mark and drill your two holes. If you have a stock spoiler, you need to unbolt it and remove it. Keep in mind that it is installed with adhesive tape as well, so it might take a few minutes to get under this and remove the spoiler. Either way, stock spoiler or not, you need to clean the surface of the deck lid so the double sided tape can bond well. Use the provided alcohol prep pads. And I'd recommend test fitting the spoiler first, then use the adhesion promoter. Place the spoiler on the car and use pressure on the tape surfaces. After that, you're just looking at tightening the supplied nuts and reinstalling the rubber grommets. Wrapping things up here with the RTR rear spoiler, this spoiler fits all 2015 and newer S550s. You can check it out more online right here at AmericanMuscle.com.